welcome to subramani uh, i was talking of uh, uh, i'm going to talk to you about the journey from being uh, rich to being wealthy uh, sounds little uh, funny but the truth is uh, how rich you are and how wealthy you get there's a big role to be played by your family so make sure that your family understands value right uh, everything that we buy whether it's a phone whether it is specs or whether it is a laptop everything has a price are we able to derive value from it this is something which you have to teach your family uh, if your wife can understand all this i'm assuming you're a man watching or if you're a woman watching whether your spouse can understand all this is also very important because when one person tries to save money the other person blows it away then it makes no sense i mean it's like filling water in a bucket or in a drum if there is leakage at the bottom it will never get filled up it doesn't matter with how much force you're putting water from the top so assuming you're a man and you are trying to go the journey from being rich to being wealthy it is very important that you marry the right person who is also thinking like that if she comes from a family which did not have much much money then the chances are when she sees money she will go berserk and spend everything that she has right right from uh, from everything which she buys etc so make sure that there is nobody inside the house uh, who is going to destroy the wealth right uh, you don't want a vibhishan right so you don't want somebody to destroy your wealth so that is first step Uh, that's the most important step if you ask me second learn 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 about wealth management also but more importantly keep increasing your skills if you are a cricketer play better cricket make sure that you get selected in ipl make sure you get the contract and make sure that money gets invested sensibly not uh, not just blown away in cryptocurrencies and land deals because somebody said oh you have to buy land here there I see so many people destroying themselves, and I also see uh, good examples of uh, kids uh, being able to save, invest, and uh, do this work sensibly. So both exist. So I'm not saying this or the other. So increasing your income is step one. Whatever by education, by skill development, by talent, by choosing the right sport. Right. Uh, today, if you choose kabaddi, chances are you will earn less money. Chances of earning more money in with cricket with reasonable talent is good. please re- realize that i'm just making generalized statements i'm not saying playing cricket will make you rich i'm just saying <clears throat> even in cricket you'll have to do a lot of effort you'll have to improve your fitness you'll have to make sure you play in play in local ipls other than the indian I, indian premier league right so there could be a tamil nadu premier league there could be a navi mumbai premier league whatever you start playing in all those places right all the all those things to improve your skill to earn more money that is step number 1 step number 2 live well within your means uh decide where to put the comma live, live well within your means or live well within your means comma whatever uh, but make sure that the excess money gets invested very smartly it is not just to say that oh all put all the money in an index fund or whatever hire a consultant if you do not know how to manage money which is very important because in cricket or in uh, acting and all you get money at a very young age so if you're 22 24 25 and you get a lot of money a lot of money by indian middle class standards can even be a couple of crores right if you get that kind of money very unlikely that you will know how to handle it because your family does not have those skills you will have to find for yourself some kind of a wealth manager who will be uh, help uh, be able to help you to uh, invest that money sensibly so so that find the journey of investing that's very important also when you're creating assets it doesn't mean that asset has to uh, give you a return immediately if you buy a piece of land and hold it for 10 years and it appreciates it is not given you any income but it has given you wealth creation similarly in mutual funds if you go for the growth option you will not get any income but you will create wealth and after that uh, at some stage when you want you can withdraw it's not as though you can't withdraw day after tomorrow from your uh, mutual fund you can but you shouldn't so you are creating wealth for the long term could be real estate could be mutual fund could be direct equity could be commodity i don't know it's your job to find that uh, asset allocation which you like and that uh, wealth that it creates so once you do that you've created a secondary source of wealth so if you're a cricketer and by the time you're 32 31 32 you have created other sources of uh, uh, income which will uh, be able to uh, sustain you for the next uh, 30 40 50 years you have done your bit 
right so you've got there from being rich to being wealthy you've done business you've done whatever whatever you did you've created other sources of income with which to live the same standard of living which you had when you were in your playing days right so you have created that wealth so that's important create additional streams of income if you need the income if you don't need the income it could again be a growth option so uh, mutual fund it could be a growth option whereas if you do some other business and the side income that income will be a current income right so uh, some of these steps and very very important uh, have start uh, catering to your internal scorecard do things because you like don't do things because others think you like this and you want to show off if you start living just for yourself saying i don't care what other people think right i will not you will not have a problem that is a very important uh, shift that you are making now from uh, your uh, living for the others or external scorecard to internal scorecard that's very important uh plan for that life which you will enjoy because you like it and you want to do it not because the world thinks oh i must go on a vacation to egypt because everybody is going to egypt or uh, every poor person uh, who tries to save money is going to vietnam whatever it's not necessary you can go to goa if you are in bombay you can go to shimla if you are in delhi that's that could be good enough right so live for yourself don't live for the outside world don't live for the number of uh, stamps on your passport doesn't really matter thank you